Hi, my name's Janet. Uh, this is my first video for YouTube. I wanted to share um, my tag album with you. So as I explain things, please be patient with me because this is my first time. I've been watching videos on YouTube of all of you ladies that have been doing albums, these mini albums for a long time. And I hope that uh, you will make comments to me about how I did and how my album looked and anything that you might want to suggest to make my albums better. I'm always in for good, um, good suggestions, good criticism to help me become better at what I do. But the album I'm doing is from a tag that I got and I decided to trace it and make a tag album. So the cover, the front and the back covers, I used a cracker box so that it would be a little bit firmer. The pages on the inside are made from cardstock. But the front of my album, I have covered with Kane Company paper. I love this Kane Company paper. This paper, the, the, the print on it, the colors, I love the colors. And I decided that that was what my, my album was gonna look at. I was gonna have colors that would go with this throughout the album. But this is all Kane Company paper. Even the little flower up here, this is Kane Company as well as this frame. I thought this frame was really cute. I had found a, a pad of frames that at uh, Michael's that you punch out and you could use. So I thought, well, I'm going to put some frames in my album. And this one here on the front is actually open up here at the top. And a picture can be slid down inside as well. And over here... I love this stamp. It's not real easy to see unless you see the uh, album in person. But the little stamp is actually a princess coach. I thought that was just so cute. The rings I have some uh, ribbon. I love this color of ribbon. The turquoise, uh, the plum, and then the green. I love that those colors. I think they go very well together. And then here I got some little things I thought I'd dangle from my album. I got one of those rings that you get when you go to bridal showers and they're on favors. And this rock here, well it's a gem, it's a green gem. I got several years ago when our family was up in Crooks Forest, Pennsylvania. Uh, I got several different kinds of these and I thought, well that would go pretty well. And then I have a junk drawer box where nothing matches. And I had this purple earring, and I thought, well, I'm just going to throw that on there. kind of goes with the album. And then finally, I have a key. I love keys. And the reason I wanted to have a key on this, I'll probably put keys on a lot of my albums, is because my maiden name was Keys. So that's why I put those on there. Those are, all have some kind of meaning to me. On the inside, let me turn the page here. Oh, let me tell you about the flower before I move on. These ribbons up here come from Top Line Creations. These pearl, the strand of pearls, I, and these uh, petals I got at uh, Joanne Fabrics. I got them from their dollar bin, which is a deal, and I'm always in for a deal. And this flower, I learned to make this flower just a couple weeks ago. I saw it online. I, I forget the lady's name that does it, but she is just fantastic. And I decided I'd try to make a flower like that. And I've made several like this since then. I just absolutely love them. They're easy to make. And then I put some stickles on top so it would shine a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Now the inside cover again is Kane Company. Everything there is Kane Company. The paper and the little frame, which you can actually slide a picture down inside. And then I took the inside of this frame and glued it to the side here, and it could be a little journaling box and put your picture here. And then the flowers here, those two are from Kane Company. Now this page over here is a little bit plainer, but it's still pretty. And I've got the pink, uh, two-tone pink paper that's sort of printed. And then I tore the edges. I love the torn edge effect on, page, on pages, and I use it a lot now that I've started doing it. And this butterfly here I made from a stamp. I stamped it out, 
and then I cut around it and after I glued it down I put some of the stickles on top and I put a rub on here. I forget what I forget the name of the company that does these rub-ons, but they're really they're really really cute, and I like them. And then this page, I am not sure where the paper came from. I I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. But um, I love this paper. It sort of sort of reminds me a little bit of vintage, and I thought I'd use that along with the torn edge. And then I made a little, little tag, a little booklet type tag on the inside. I did another rub on butterfly and I did this rub on here. And it can be journaled on the inside and then it tucks right back down in here. You can put a picture here. And then I made this flower sort of like similar to the lollipop flowers that I saw in mine. And I did it with paper. I believe this paper here does come from the Top Line Creations. Uh, another Rub On Butterfly. This is a stamp that I got out on Joanne Fabrics. Again, I got it out of the dollar bin and I thought, well, I'll put it there and I'll put my little flower up there and I added some pearls and the feathers. I love the feathers. And then, of course, a little, a little brad in the center with some stickles. I put some stickles on. And then this page here, I used a doily to sort of divide the page instead of tearing it. And my two butterflies, they're Kay and Company for sure. Again, this is Top Line Creations paper. And I made another one of those flowers. And the leaves, I took and I cut them out. And then I crunched them all up and flattened them out again. And then I edged them with black and uh, put them underneath for some leaves. And I made another tag that, a picture can go here and then the tag here slips out. And you can write in there another ribbon. I love ribbon and lace and butterflies and flowers. That's, that's that page. Oops. Lost my butt, lost my little flower there. And then I made another page here. Let me take this out. I did a torn edge with the Kane Company paper here. Another doily, and these this flower punch out here is from Kane Company with the gray background, and then they, another Kane Company flower, and then the green paper again that I edged with green ink and a little pink ribbon. I thought that went really cute. They could slip a, they could do their journaling on either side, and then put a picture here. And then I took that green paper again and I just covered this whole tag. And instead of doing a torn edge, I decided to do the lace and the pearls and I sort of did it in a diagonal type way. And I could put a picture here and maybe journal or put a name here. And this is one of my homemade flowers. Uh, the lace, I just uh, sewed it together in a circle. And then I put this green pearl here. I got a bunch of these at Walmart. Walmart had them in their dollar bin and I took advantage of them and got a bunch of them with some more feathers and then the little strand of pearls in the back and I edged the page again with green ink. I, I got this green ink at uh, Joanne Fabrics. And then I got this double page here. I, I forget where this paper comes from, but it, it, I just love it. It's the black, and there's some gray and white, and then it has sparklies all over it. And I just covered the whole tag with that. And then I used the Prima flowers. I always put two or three flowers sometimes together. The three brads are from the Recollections collection, and another one of my pearls that I got from the Walmart and a little bit of ribbon that kind of goes with it. And then I took this paper and I continued it over to the edge of this page. And then I divided it down with more Prima flowers and I put some bling on. And then I edged part of the page here with some lace. The lace I got, all the lace I got is from Joanne Fabrics. And again, I used the Prima flowers. I doubled them, two different kinds, with a pearl right in the center. I thought that was so proud. I love this. And they can put 
pictures here and pictures here. They can journal above their pictures. This is two of my favorite pages. And then these, I just love these pages. This is mostly all Kane Company paper, except for the tag here. This tag is not Kane Company paper, it's the green. And I just stamped the front with the stamp I have that has all kind of flowers. Edged it in green. And they can journal on the back. And again, the Kane Company paper. I just love this. I need to get more. And then another butterfly, a little flower here. They can put a they can put a picture here. Here's more flowers down here. These are all Kane Company. Picture here, picture here. And then slip their tag right in after they journal. And then on this page, let me take the tags out first. I did another torn edge, and this is all Kane Company paper. And I did the torn edge with the Kane Company. These are both Kane Company papers that I used to make these flowers. I used um, my heart punch. I punched out five little hearts, glued them together, and then I put brads in the center. And then I backed them with purple, and then up here with blue uh, feathers, again with the pearls around there. Then I made two tags. This one's kind of plain. It's just a Kane Company paper. Plain on the back and it can slip in there. And then I did a little booklet. Now I'm not sure if these flowers are pre-made. They very well could be. But I got these out of my stash that I've had for a couple of years. So they could very well be Kane Company. But this tag opens. Again, I edged it in the green. And they could do some journaling in there. And they could put some pictures here and do their journaling. And then the very back, I covered with Kane Company paper again. And I did a bling heart. And that's the back of the back. And that's, that's my first tag album. And I absolutely love it. I don't know if I'll sell it or give it away. I may keep it for myself. I don't know. Uh, but I just love it. And I would love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear... Any suggestions you might have on how I can change things? I eventually want to start using Glimmer Mist when I can get some. But I would love your comments. Please leave your comments. And also visit my blog. I just started my blog a couple of weeks ago. And it's nanonovembersparlor.blogspot.com I would love to hear from you.